Welcome back to Scrummy. Today we're making one of the yummiest cheesecakes you'll ever try. And if you like Bailey's Irish Cream, then this is the perfect cheesecake for you. Okay, let's make this Bailey's Chocolate Cheesecake. We're starting with the biscuit base and today for a change I've decided to use a mix of digestive and hobnob biscuits but you can use whatever biscuit you like. Place in a food processor and blitz until you have a nice fine crumb. If you don't have a food processor, pop them into a bag or into a bowl and break them up with a rolling pin. Okay, that looks great. Pour the crumb mixture into a bowl. Add the melted butter. Mix with a fork or spoon until all the ingredients are combined. Now you can pour the biscuit crumb into a 20 cm springform tin. I haven't greased the tin as there's enough butter in the biscuit base so it won't stick. Press the biscuit crumb down with the back of a spoon until it's nice and smooth. Now you can place in the fridge for 30 minutes while we make the cheesecake filling. I'm using full fat cream cheese today but you could also use mascarpone cheese or even use a mix of both and it'll be perfect. To this add the icing sugar. Mix until the mixture is smooth. There's a lot of cream cheese in this cheesecake, but you'll have a nice big cheesecake and it will feed about 16 people. Pour in the double cream and the Bailey's Irish cream. Whisk again until the mixture is thick and holds its shape. You can see by the ripples in the filling that it's nearly ready. Okay, I'm happy with that. Add the grated milk chocolate and fold it into the Bailey's cream cheese filling. Instead of grated chocolate, you could also use a crumbled up twirl or flake. It's ready. Now that wasn't very difficult, was it? Pour over your biscuit base and smooth out with a spatula or the back of a spoon. Cheesecakes are just so easy to make and are so yummy. And if you're a fan of cheesecakes, why not check out my Terry's Chocolate Orange Cheesecake, it's amazing. Place in the fridge for a minimum of four hours or overnight to set. When the cheesecake is set, make the chocolate ganache. Use a good quality dark chocolate. This one has about 70% cocoa and chop it into small pieces. The smaller the pieces, the quicker they will melt. Place the chopped ganache in a glass bowl. Pour over the warm double cream and just a tip for you when heating the cream, make sure you don't boil it. Allow it to stand for about three to four minutes before stirring. Now you can stir it until you get a nice smooth chocolate. If there are still some lumps of chocolate, place in the microwave for 10 second intervals, stirring until melted. Pour over the cheesecake and tilt the tin to spread it. You need to do this fast because the cheesecake is cool and the ganache will start to set once it hits it. You can also use a knife or the back of a spoon to smooth it over the top. Place back in the fridge for about 30 minutes until the ganache is set. Now for the fun bit, time to decorate the cheesecake. Place a warm knife between the chocolate ganache and the edge of the tin and slide the knife the whole way around the tin. Remove from the tin and place on a serving plate. I'm decorating this with double cream whipped with icing sugar and vanilla extract. When the cream forms soft peaks, add a teaspoon of cocoa powder and fold it in. Pipe the cream around the side of the cheesecake. Place the chocolate truffles on top of the cream. You can use Bailey's truffles, Lint Lindor milk chocolate or even Maltesers. Now to finish you can sprinkle milk chocolate over the ganache. Don't cover completely as it's nice to get the contrast between the milk chocolate and the dark chocolate. Just look at that, now that is definitely a showstopper. Now for the taste test, cut with a warm knife so the chocolate ganache doesn't break. This cheesecake will keep in the fridge for up to three days. Look at those nice thick layers. And you can also freeze cheesecake for up to two months. Okay, let's get stuck in. This is delicious and the bitterness of the dark chocolate ganache is lovely with the Bailey's cream cheese filling. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. The full recipe is in the description box down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next week. Mmm, scrummy!